Before we get started, I wanted to take a few seconds and mention that if you want to learn Unreal Engine 4 from the very beginning without any previous knowledge or experience, then take a look at Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals. It includes 7 hours worth of video tutorials and you can find out more at worldofleveldesign.com slash store slash ue4 dash fundamentals dot php. Now let's get back to the tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover the beginner step-by-step -step to creating your first level. We'll start from the very beginning, we'll set up a project, create a new blank map, and insert all the necessary actors to get your first level started. Let's start by creating our project. Click on the launch icon and launch the version of the editor you want to use. Unreal Project Browser will pop up. Switch over to New Projects. Choose Blueprint. I'm going to select a game template, third person. Choose desktop and console, maximum quality, and enable starter content. Then you want to set a location where you want this project to be stored. I already have this set by default on E drive and not on C drive. This is optional. And let's go ahead and name this project. I'm going to name this WOLD simple level and no spaces. Unreal Engine doesn't like when you put spaces inside the name of the projects. And create project. This will launch Unreal Editor and the project. First thing that I want to do is go ahead and disable real time. This will help to speed up the viewport by not rendering everything in real time. And I also want to go to edit, edit the preferences, loading and saving, and turn off enable autosave. This is a personal preference and I like to disable this so I can save my maps and my content manually. Let's go ahead and close this menu box. By default, you will have a starter map open from the game template, but we want to go ahead, go to File, New Level, and start an empty level. Now let's create a ground plane. We're going to use a BSP brush for this. Inside the Modes panel, under Place, let's go to BSP and left click and drag a box. With the BSP brush selected, let's go to the Details panel and we want to change XYZ. I'm going to make the size of the brush 1000 by 1000 and height is going to be 50. Next we want to insert a character reference scale. Anytime you build an environment you want to make sure that everything you build is to correct proportion and to correct scale. To help with this we need to have a player reference with the same height and width as a player character inside the game. The easiest way is I'm going to reinsert another BSP box. And with that box selected, resize X and Y to 60 by 60, which is the width of the character. And the height is going to be 180. Now let's go ahead and make sure that it's on the ground plane. And it's not, so I'm going to jump over to side view. And make sure that it's aligned to the grid. And now the character reference scale I like to use is have a skeletal mesh inside the level and for that we're going to use Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin. Quickly jump back to Unreal Engine Launcher, go to Marketplace, click on Characters Animations and download Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin. I already have it downloaded but you'll have a download button and ability to choose which version of this mannequin that you want to download. Now let's jump back to Library and then scroll down to Vault section and then here you'll see Unreal Engine 4 Mannequin Go ahead and add it to your project. I'm going to show all projects. Since this mannequin is from 4.8 and I'm using a 4.9 project, I just simply need to select the project, use the drop down menu and select 4.8 and then add to project. Now back to your project. Here's the new folder. Let's go ahead go into mesh and left click and drag this mannequin right into the level. And I'm just going to simply rotate it right next to this box. So you have two options, you can either use a BSP box or Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. Now let's insert a directional light. This is going to be our sunlight. Go to modes, place tab, lights, left click and drag directional light right into the scene. I'm gonna select the light and rotate it and position the angle that I want the sunlight to have. It doesn't matter where exactly this light is being placed inside the level, all that matters is the angle of this directional light. Previously, before we placed the light, we were using unlit mode, and with the light placed, it will automatically switch to lit mode. 
If it doesn't, you can switch this manually pressing Alt 4 or using the drop down menu and choosing LIT. Let's go ahead and change two properties. Select the direction light inside the details panel, change intensity. I'm going to switch it to 7.5 and choose a different light color. Something that resembles the time of day that you want for your scene. I'm going to go more on the peach side, right about here, and click OK. This light hasn't been built. So to get more accurate representation of what the scene looks like, we need to build our lights. I'm going to use the drop down menu and choose light quality to preview so it's faster and I'm going to click build. Next, let's insert atmospheric fog. This will add atmosphere and an illusion of a skybox. Let's go to visual effects, select atmospheric fog and left foot click right into the perspective viewport. And let's go ahead and raise it up. There are no properties that we're going to change for the atmospheric fog, but we need to reselect our directional light and in the properties, we need to enable one checkbox. I'm going to scroll down. Actually, I'm going to open up a new details panel so you can see better. So with the directional light selected, under light section, you want to show advanced panel. Just left click to open it. Next, scroll down and enable atmosphere sunlight. This will connect the directional light direction to the atmospheric fog. So this way, anytime you change the angle of the sun and the sunlight, the atmospheric fog will update automatically. And this sun disk in the sky is coming from atmospheric fog. Now by default, we should have blue sky and fog in our level. And sometimes for some reason it doesn't show up. So if it happens to you and you still have the black sky as you see here, just simply delete atmospheric fog and reinsert it again and move the camera around. And that usually pops back into view and makes atmospheric fog work as it should. And your directional light will still have atmospheric sunlight property enabled. And now if you take your directional light and change the direction and the angle, the atmospheric fog and the sun disk will update automatically. Let's insert a static mesh into the level. Let's go to Content Browser, select the Content folder, in Search Content in the search box, type in Cube or the name of the static mesh you're looking for, and let's go ahead and filter by static meshes. I'm going to grab this cube, left click and drag right into the level. I'm going to position this cube right on top of the ground plane, and actually before I do that, let's increase its size. With the cube selected, I'm going to go in the details panel under scale. I'm going to enable lock uniform scale and change this to two. And now let's go ahead and position this cube on the ground. And let's quickly build our lights again to see what the final or the closest approximation of lighting is right now. I'm going to make sure it's on preview and it is and click build. And the shadows in this environment are a little bit too dark. So let's go ahead and fix that. For this, I'm going to use a skylight. Let's go to lights, choose skylight, left click and drag right into the level. A skylight will help to illuminate areas that are not being directly lit by the directional light. So now we can see we have a little bit of color and bouncing light in our environment. Skylight only works for exterior environments and this will not affect if you have an interior. If you need to change the color of the skylight, this shadow color, select the skylight and in the properties change light color. Now we're going to keep this at default. For skylight to work you have to have a skybox or atmospheric fog and then a skylight. Next let's go ahead and insert a player start. Every environment you create should have at least one player start. So let's go to basic, left click and drag on the player start right into the ground plane. Let's save our work. We've been working on this. We already have a lot of work here, so we don't want to lose any of it. Let's go to File, Save As. I'm going to select the content folder and create a new folder underneath the content folder. So in this empty gray space, I'm going to right click, choose new folder and name it My Maps. You can name this anything you want. With My Maps folder selected, let's go ahead and name our level. And I'm going to name mine My Simple Level and click Save. Now let's go ahead and test our level. You can right click on the ground plane, choose play from here, hit escape to exit back to editor mode and another way to play test 
is to choose play icon at the top toolbar and this will spawn you from the player start. Another important actor that you need to insert into every level you create is a light mass importance volume. This will tell Unreal Engine where to focus its lighting calculation. Let's go to volumes, scroll down until you see light mass importance volume. Left click and drag right into the level. We want to make sure that our entire area where the player is going to be is surrounded by light mass importance volume. So let's go ahead, switch over to geometry editing or shift five. I'm gonna go F11, large view, and make sure that this box is large enough to have this entire level inside it. And now also let's pull the bottom and the top. You want to do this for every level you create. Surround the playable area with light mass importance volume. Let's press F11 again. Switch back to place mode. And now let's go ahead and build our environment on production light quality. Use the drop down menu, light quality, switch to production, and do our final build. Now let's go to file and save. We have now reached the end of this video. We have created a simple level with all of the necessary actors that you would need when you create your own environments. And please take a look at Unreal Engine 4 Fundamentals. This is a premium tutorial series. It will show you how to use Unreal Engine 4 from the very beginning.